Hello everybody, welcome back to another day of some comp. So yesterday on stream there was a request or like a channel point redeem for picking the gimmick for my next theme team. And that was for an amphibian team. So we're gonna be running some I didn't actually get to run Pup Voice back when I did my little cup Thames, so this is a good opportunity to do that. Pup Voice is one of like two Thames that you can run Amphibian on. I, I mean, technically Crystal gets it too, but we're not even going to try that. If the Crystal line had access to Crystal Bite, I would consider it. Oh, I'm looking. I got to look down here in the for fun. <laughs> amphibian. So basically, Amphibian is whenever an Amphibian Tem gets targeted with a water type technique, they get plus speed and plus two attack. So it's really solid. Also, the little Faraday cage buff is actually nice as well. The voice doesn't have a whole lot of techniques, but it's got some. My pad. It's gonna feel a little bad running side pad without Schween's horn, but make it work. It's got ice cubes. Might even run Mimit for the ice cubes, I like double side pad ice cubes board. Um, probably just this. Right, the best support for this kind of team is Schween. <laughs> Bossy, thank you for the sub. I really appreciate it. Wherever Schween is. I still can't find Thames here very often. No, it's something they recommended. So the reason Schween is so good is one, because it has Guardian to prevent stat drops on your ally Psypat and when it's using Rage, and also Fluid Barrier gives the Amphibian. Hello, Mac Chromion, welcome. Um, I don't even know what the last move you run on Schween nowadays is. I guess it's always just Quartz Shield. Lucas, hello as well. Alright, so this is going to be our core. We can go double Psypat and then hit one of the Psypats with Ice Cubes if we want. And that does fun stuff. Otherwise, Schween. And then we also got like Pup Boys and stuff. So we should probably put some stuff that's weak to water now so people are more enticed to bring it. Something like Drakash, Hedgen. What else can we do? Volcrane. Digis. I forgot what would even synergize. Like, you used to, Magma used to be an option because it runs Rage too. I mean, I gotta, I gotta think about this team as if Schween gets banned every single time. Because more than likely, it's going to be. Kind of sucks, but it's just how it goes. Um, I wonder if Amphibian even procs right now with the Schween's Horn bug. Like if I was to use Antitoxin Schween's Horn. <laughs> I guess, you know, I could throw a Bigu on this team as well. It's been a little while since we ran Bigu. Two pre-evolutions. We'll just have fun today. We've got some water types. Ah, uh, funny. Crystal has Amphibian and Platy, but I guess a lot more times than I thought had it. Yeah, I, I think we're just gonna stick. <laughs> with, like this is already gonna be difficult enough. <laughs> we're just gonna go with this. I, I just gotta figure out good supports now. Like, what else can work with these Thames just at all? Droply really has amph or no, not. Why would you ever run Amphibian on Droply when you can run Water Affinity? <laughs> water weak, water weak, water weak. It 
It's like, it would be fun to meme with, like, going away gift Tejin. So maybe we'll try that. Because I can kind of support and get, like, Zen meditation and stuff. Let's go Fire Tornado. That gives us a pretty good water week. I could have a second fire and then throw Hellfire on there. Maybe. Sanitive Rain Shell hit. Ah, we did see that yesterday. It was kind of goofy. I mean, more... I, if I was to do it, I would go Oshiara. But the problem is, like, the move used to be one hold, now it's two hold. I'm not sure how many water types I really want to have. Because, I, I I mean, I could do something like... I sure can Oshiara. I could have, like, freeze options. I could even go Hydrologist. Maybe, maybe we just do it for fun. I don't think I'm gonna have an. I think I'm just gonna have Hedgen as the only water, or the only fire. So high pressure is not gonna be great. Let's go sharp, sharp rain. Just so I have another strong water move. Probably want ice shuriken instead of ice cubes on Saipat then. So I could do something like Oshiara plus Saipat lead, double freeze or double ice shuriken to freeze something. And then smack my own Saipat with a Ice Shuriken if I wanted as well. That'd be fun. Still, no, still should have another Fire Week though, so that people can't get away with just <laughs> banning the Hedgen and then never picking their waters. Because <laughs> I feel like that's kind of the biggest problem with this sort of team. It's... Most people are only running one, maybe two waters, and one of the waters is usually Platymus, which can actually hit my team with toxic moves as well, which sucks. Maybe I, I guess I probably need a wind. So it's, I'm basically looking at Tolkien or Turok here. We'll go with Turok. EV train and Temtem, and are there any items that help? Uh, so it's, it's it's the same as in Pokemon, where you each Tem has like a, a stat, and it gives you a certain amount of TVs, which are this equivalent of EVs, and upon defeating it. And there is one item, it's called Proteins, which doubles the output. That's the only one, though. Okay, so this is going to be difficult. We're going to try it. Now one thing I know Pup Boys has is no stamina. <laughs> uh, you know, when you don't have Shreen's Horn on Saipad, I'm not even sure what you run. It's a drill, obviously, right? <laughs> oh, pain. Almost run reactive vial. Maybe go like a bulkier side pad. I don't know how much that would help though. I feel like for the most part we just want to kind of wreck our opponents. Ah, uh, we'll just put like double screen on Shween just so it doesn't have a big effect. I feel like like because Shween's just gonna get banned all the time. A general item on Mimit would be good. Something that's kind of useful in all situations. I guess maybe that's just Wardrum. I'll tell you what. We're going to try a new Vitamin Complex on our Psypat. Just in case we try and pull off some Rage without... <laughs> without the Shween there, so... It'd be different. 
A big goose stamina is still kind of kind of rough, but we can work with it. Madness buff team with move flank. Sure. Yeah, I can give it a try. It's going to be rough, but... <laughs> the problem with Madness buff is that when you're facing a full physical team, it doesn't help you defensively, and you're just getting rid of 30% of your health. And move flank is not exactly the best special attacker. That doesn't mean it can't be one, it just struggles. <laughs> How often am I going to be picking this stem? We'll go bait. Push off burns. Toxic and sleep. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what even the best hedge and build is for going away gift. I haven't run one in so long. And ever since they changed how it works for procking, it's a lot more difficult to do. Because before going away gift, you used to proc anytime, anytime that hedge and died. But now it has to die from getting hit. So if you die to toxic ticks, you don't get it. If you die to overexertion, you don't get it. Stuff like that. You used to run it with slingshots, so you could just hook and get an attack and speed boost at the same time. I'll run sweatband just so I can save some stamina TVs and also... Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Oh, the sweatband is an item that people commonly use on normal hedging, so maybe I can trick people who don't pay attention to uh, going, gotta go fast procking. <laughs> Just something that I used to commonly do or forget, so. I kind of ran out of stamina items for good old Oshiara here, but that's okay. We'll just put like marbles on it. <laughs> Same as Turok, really. We don't have a whole lot left. You know, on Oshiara, we're going to go Adrenaline Shot. Because it's more or less a stamina item. Just think, if I overexert, I can still get an attack off. It's like all these times want the same item. You know, the stamina items just are so much stronger than the rest. You pretty much find them on every single team, and then the other items are just kind of, just in case. We'll give it, like, camo, just to avoid some burn, toxic, and sleep. Just basically discount bait. Alright, TVs. Pain. <laughs> it's got sharp leaf, so I almost could put slingshot on this thing just for fun. But it would take over 100 TVs to get 61 stamina, so I think I'm going to pass. Two forty three is not bad. I can't really reach where I want it to, though. So after an amphibian proc, how much speed do I have to have to reach 248? Basically 200, so we'll just hit the 200 breakpoint. We'll max out attack, just so I, once we get the boost, we can just deal tons of damage. And we'll put the rest in HP. I'm not going to put any in stamina, just because I'm hoping Fake Beard does all the work. <laughs> Maybe Sacrifice would be better than Bush. Just because I know I'm going to overexert if I'm staying on the field for three turns. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, Saipat, I mean, Saipat kind of likes stamina here.
But it can also get away with 61, I think. So I'm just going to go 265 on this Saipat. I don't have priority to hit Hedgen anyways. But this helps me outspeed max speed Gialis and stuff after one Amphibian proc. All the base speed hundreds. We'll go max attack and fill HP. Just so that we can really hit stuff hard. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll go max HP. We can actually kind of like fill on the attack just because we're expecting to to boost our attack with Amphibian and Rage. So it's okay if we don't have as high of a base attack. Ah, uh, Shween. I mean, we just want to, to be faster than everything. Which we can just get away with 266 on this then. Yep, that's plenty good. Nash, hello, welcome. Thank you for the sub, I really appreciate it. We're getting close to that final break point. I was kind of surprised. <laughs> you guys have been so awesome over the last last month or so. So for the Mimit, we're actually just going to copy Saipat's spread here, because I think that's what we're going to copy most often. Nineteen. Three. And... No, Mimit. <laughs> Ta-da. Perfect. Uh, Big was tough to spread because it has like zero attack or zero uh, speed. Like I could account for it once it gets plus one speed, but even then, it's just like it doesn't help a whole lot. So we're just gonna go like 500 attack. Probably throw some stamina on there for three water cutting, so it just can't be. It can't just be ignored. Still gonna be significant, but of all the Thames on this team, I think. Bigu is going to be the one that people are just like, what? It's a Bigu. Whatever. And ignore it. <laughs> um, my speed's cool on Hedgen, but I can get speed with Overclock. We'll just put a little bit on it. I should outspeed Saipats and Oshiar creeps after, after an Overclock, which is nice. Oh, 19. I'm just going to go to 61 stamina. Could probably do more, but nah. Mm. I think there were, it's like max attack just for cyber claw damage and then like a whole bunch of special defense. So you can live special hits just fine. And you can still KO yourself with Cyberclaw when needed. I believe that's how it goes. But I'm playing a bunch of Thames here I don't have a whole lot of experience with, so we're just trying stuff. <laughs> uh, OCR stamina is going to be expensive too. Ooh, exactly 100, that's nice. Alright, we want to hit 266 on Oshiara as well. So that we can set off our Cypats. Uh, amphibian on tempo, which would be really nice. And lastly, Turok's pretty standard. 
something like 500 HP. I mean, you probably don't even go max HP, but you definitely want something special defense. Quite a bit of stamina, because I don't have a stamina item to supplement that. And the rest in, like, attack. I could have maybe a, a bit of speed just to creep. I like 81. 81 helps me out speed 232, or 272. Alright, no, I gotta hit 182. We'll get there eventually. Yeah, there we go. Sure. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good. Amphibian, amphibian, guardian, landing, amphibian. Alright, this is gonna be awful, but let's get to it. And we'll, I got 30 encounters left in the Pookie Umbra radar, so we'll probably have to pick another one up, which is a bit sad, but... I've got just enough Luma Drops for one more Pookie radar before I have to decide on whether or not I decide to liquidize another Luma, or if I want to buy some Lumas off the auction house. Also built to survive, I missed it, but thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Oh, shoot. I was going to add some more Pokemon, like, themes to the soundtrack. I forgot to do that. I'll put a post-it note up to remember for hopefully next time. Because I still only got, like, 70 songs in the playlist, so I'm sure you guys kind of get sick of listening to the same ones all the time. I'm not going to remove a whole bunch, but I'm just going to add some more, so... We don't go burn through the whole playlist in one, one stream. There we go, post-it note made. My desk is just a mess full of post-it notes. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you guys keep track of stuff, but that's that's how I do it. Usually it's a pretty good day or time to queue. So I don't think we'll have a real long one, but I'm sure the hype of the patch is wearing off just a little bit now. It's been over a week. We also got word today that they are they're polling people in the competitive chat on the main Discord about what to do for the next TMCS tournament. Because there's, there's quite a few bugs in the game, and some of them are really impactful. So they were wondering if they should delay the tournament to another date, or just play the tournament on the expected date, but with bans in place. I personally am hoping that they'll just play it and have bans, because I'll be busy for a couple weekends coming up after the tournament. So depending on when it's delayed to, I might not be able to participate, which would be awful. <laughs> but we'll see. Gotta do what the greater, greater audience wants. These are also another risk of anything breaking again. I guess that's the best, otherwise team balance might be super off for most. I... Yeah... Cause, I mean, the, like, arguably, if we were able to just disable Galios, I think it would be okay. But the problem also lies with all of the... the recoil soft locks being another big one. People not being able to restart their games due to slow internet could be big issues. So that would knock out every knockback user. Stuff like Xenorith, Momo, Arachnite. 
which would be diff really unfortunate. We got Rorwick. Schween's Horn. Ah, right, that's another one. Yeah, that pretty much just kills, like, Saipat and Babawa and stuff. So Schween's actually not banned, so that's kind of cool. So I kind of want to lead Schween plus a poise here. There's no fires or digitals. I'm going to ban Golzi just because it's fast and get a hit off. Use that Saipat for a bit to Oshiro on your team for for Parks at least, since it's working, but you want to play Saipat? Because now that's your only Umbra. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's mega unfortunate. No surprise on the. Then a guy's first pick. We'll see, maybe he's got a plan. I just realized I probably should have more speed in my Shween, just so I can outspeed stuff. Like Nagais here. With the Amphibian boost. Oh well. I really don't want to play against Mashuk. Completely walls Saipat, can walls whatever Bigu can possibly do. And this is not an offensive... <laughs> Hedgen. <laughs> yeah, Garander's gonna pose a problem for sure. I might have to to mimic something good. Like if I could mimic that two vine, that'd be great. Technically, if I can get to an end game. Where I can mimic my Oshiara and just double Ice Shuriken the thing. That would work too. I mean, we'll, we'll try going Bigu. There's really no reason to bring Hedge in here. Bigu can take hits neutrally from stuff like Tataru and Turok and hit back hard. Ah, uh, marbles, that hurts. Pupboys already doesn't have any stamina. Why would you take it away? The guy swap to two vine. No, not surprising. And look at swapping out my pup voice here. So I can bring it back in later against the guys and it'll do something good. Yeah, two vines defense is just so high. Can't do a whole lot there. I mean that hurts pretty bad. I'm actually thinking it might be a good time to go Oshiara Mimit here. Then I can freeze something and then double Cerbatios. Not the Cerbatios is going to be real great here, but it's also like the best thing I have to eat this hit. Ooh, turbo, that hurts bad.
There goes any speed advantage I wanted to have this entire game. Double water blade the two vein. Just pick on a slow low spadef. See what I can do. Ah, uh, then that's that's the no special attack invest one. So this one should do a lot more. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. There's the real Oshiara getting hit. Pain. I don't know the Garunder's item. I'm assuming it's not bait. If it was, that sucks. Normally it's like E-Drink. And based on how much damage the Major Slash did, I know that my OCR can live that. So that's why I wasn't afraid. No bait, no bait, no bait! Hydrologist wardrobe physical Oceara, let's go. Oh, that's so funny to see. <laughs> I'm just gonna water blade because I don't think this tatter is letting me get another move off on that one. Oh, cooperation, interesting. Healing the Garunder kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I'm just gonna like I don't know, Mimit kinda doesn't do anything here. I'm actually just gonna water blade and then swap to Shween. I know that Oh, it doesn't quite kill, but I, I didn't have any way around not procking first aid kit. Ashween takes that really well, actually. Well, those clicks are ratios, just in the off chance I live. Because I'm not out speeding with Water Blade now, because it's a plus five Tataru. Tatter actually swapped. Very interesting. The guy's coming in. Adrenaline shot. <laughs> Forgot about that. Uh, yeah, that's Herbatio's very sad. And he's actually still did quite a bit though, so. It's more than I was expecting. For sure. Look at that damage! Because of the plus two, I'm pretty sure like Popeye should be able to live whatever this nigga has for it. Okay, that marble sucks. Marbles. Definitely sucks. More than likely, Grunder's going to swap for Turok, and I'm going to be very sad and wish I attacked the Nagais instead. But we do what we can here. I 
guess I probably should have attacked on the guys anyways. Because if Turok comes in there, I just bring in my Mimit to copy it. That's Nagaisa's Pryodon now. So as long as this isn't a speedy Turok with Stone Ball, I should be alright. I guess no, because the the Tatter still lives. This is the turn for the Mimit. <laughs> it's physical to come in once again to deal special, or to turn into a special attacking him. <laughs> this is so funny to see. All oh, Hypno, good play. just fury because I'm expecting Turok to come in and even though it doesn't he's just going for the kill on Mimit dead but understandable I guess I had the Cedar up so I probably should have clicked Psy Surge I didn't think about that. I don't mimic like so. Before, when you used to have two Nagaises on the field with the Cedora, the turn aura would flip back to normal. But now, apparently, that doesn't happen. It's just always Pryo is flipped when the Cedora is active. I have bait on the Bigu. <laughs> he can't put me to sleep. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, and the guys goes down too. That's huge. <laughs> I can't believe we're pulling this off. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. Ah, oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, it's not over yet. Live, Schween, live! Aww. Without the extra damage from Synergy Water Cutting, I'm not sure if this kills Tataru. Yeah, dang it. I should have attacked the Turok then. Oh, wait. I have Bush! <laughs> oh, wow. I was like, man, should I even bring Bush? I'm never going to click it because I don't have enough stamina to. Well, this is why you bring Bush.
I can't believe we got it off hold safely too. Oh wow. All right. Oh, that was a game. That's for sure. GG's Rorwick. I. Ah. All right. I think he had to save the Garunder for a little longer there. Because I didn't have a whole lot of ways to deal with Garunder, but he left it in front of my Shwein to get a C-Bite off, which was really helpful. I thought that Turbo Tatter was going to be a huge problem, though. But it didn't actually click Held Anger, so I'm not sure if it didn't have Held Anger or it didn't have... have um, Bestial charge, both of which would have helped significantly. Oh, it had cooperation. That's right, it didn't have either. But the cooperation gave it enough stamina to stay on the field longer. Yeah. Even if he knew the bait was there, I'm not... I guess he probably would have... Wouldn't have Hypno and he would have just attacked. So that would have been the difference. Ah, <sighs> well, that might, may or may not be the only win we get today, but we can try for another. <laughs> Genesect, alright. This is actually decent, because I've got lots of ways to scale my offense. Let's be on the Schween. So there goes my easy way of proccing Amphibian. It's a bit sad. Well, we know I don't like Garunder, but I also don't like Nidrasil. <sighs> Tell you what. We'll ban the Garunder, and we'll freeze the Nidrasil. I also wish I had Nox Bomb now on my Psypat instead of Water Jet. So I had a way to deal some toxic damage. So I could hit this Kinu, but like generally that wouldn't matter. It just happens to be Kinu. <laughs> okay, so much for freezing. That is no longer an option. I didn't even consider that for a moment for some reason. So we'll go Hedgen, and scale with Hook. I think I have Plasma Beam on it still, but maybe not. I don't really know what I want in the second slot. I guess Turok would be nice until I can create some space to pass on Hedgen's buffs. Plus this scares off the Nidrasil a little bit. I know that my Hedgen can live a Soil Steam because I spammed it with 500 defense, special defense. Because why not? Right? <laughs> Little does he know that Oshiara really doesn't pose much of a threat. <laughs> 
It has zero staying power without any stamina item. <laughs> but I guess even like one Cerbatios with a Hydrologist would probably cause a lot of issues for him. We'll go Psypat. So if I can get a Rage off at any point during the game, that would be huge. And Pup Voice is just going to be good for like digital type coverage against Kinu, Pocus, and Magmut. Rust, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Non stab ice cubes from Big Ook and Proc Amphibian if I need it to. I mean, really, the, the threat is not Cowron. Pretty much my entire team can kill it, so I just want to start beating down the Owler. With new Notbar, I don't have to be afraid of it nearly as much. But it's still a super tank, so... He did double the hedging. He must not have looked at us or noticed us straight. <laughs> or rockfall just for like burn ticks and stuff. I still would really appreciate if I could just OX and die on hedging. Because then I could just hook in, into Cyber Claw and it would be just fine. Aw, oh, the Yowler has Toughen. No. No. <laughs> Alright, so this is the Zen Med turn. Swap in a Psypat, because I know that he can eat hits best. But I also don't want to have to deal with like Kinu. Because Kinu just completely walls Psypat. I should have made my side or my hedge in fast enough that I could go before a Nicho. What we're gonna do? We're actually gonna stay in, predicting the Kinu, and then we're gonna swap back to Turok. Yeah, that's the play. Probably. Alright, we got the we got the play wrong. <laughs> that was not the play. <laughs> okay, so I should have banned Yowler. I just I I didn't know it was gonna have Tuffin. Tuffin completely ruins everything I wanted to do here.
glad we ate the psychosis, though. I just don't think there's any room for us to do anything this game. He's just gonna spam stone walls and toughens, and I just. My goal to freeze was just completely thrown off by the Yowler. I could have dealt with Grunder, because at least I could freeze it. How much stamina does that Cowron have? It just took, lost like 20% just from a stone wall. Like, that's not very much at all. Try this again. I could get roared, but it's still a net gain for me. Sapat would, Sap would be plus six, so at least at least on the same. It's at least on par with with Yowler then. I don't get the last Zen mid off, but that's okay. Now we just do as much as we can with like Big Usaipat. We water jet here. And Toxic Slime it covers for a Kinu swap, and also I think the Toxic Tick does more to, to the Yowler at this point. Just call. Haha, -ha, bait! I really can't let Saipat leave the field, unfortunately. Yeah, I did. Two toughens on Yowler is just way too tough to break through on a full physical team. I guess he probably doesn't even have Savage. He's only got Clinch, but the the fact remains. Get feathers from Temtem Showdown, you can. It is slightly reduced from the normal amount you would receive, but you can get them. How much do you get? Uh, feathers always is based on how uh, your rank. So it, it skills, like, the higher rank you are, the more feathers you get. Yeah. I just never stood a chance. If there was anything other than this Yowler, I, I think I could have made something happen. Uh, even Formation Garander would have been just as bad, because it would have had type advantage, and it would have been resting gaining defense. I just had to hope it wasn't, wasn't full. Oh, that's a zero attack Yowler, too. Things probably got max HP, max... Or like 400 defense and still an extra 100 in defense. GG's. Ah, I don't think the game liked that very much. Uh, so, right after a competitive match, it'll actually show the Thames that you had are the moves just for a split second that you had in the match. <laughs> so, so I just clicked Water Cutting Lily with my Pookie on the opposing Pookie. I was going to restart because I'm pretty sure that would have soft locked me. Super 
usually matches on showdown, you get less. It's not on showdown, it's with a showdown team. Because they want to encourage people to use pro teams more. It was something like 10% less for showdown and 10% more for pro teams. So overall it's like a 20% difference. So I mean, it's kind of a shame, but I understand it because people really haven't been breeding and throwing perfects on the market in a while. How do you use showdown teams in PvP? Ah, uh, you just... Right under the competitive tab, you scroll to the far right. Uh, once you get into it, and then it should have showdown teams, and you can just... You can either make a team yourself completely from scratch, or you can just type in a code. And it'll populate it. I got a few codes that I've been using during the week over on the side. They're all... It's been a lot of meme teams this week, so I cannot particularly recommend them. But the options there if you wanted to try. <laughs> Throw me on bed. Rock threatens the Inky, and Bigu threatens. I see. You say Bigu threatens the Oshiara he wanted to bring with the Inky. This person dropped their head on the keyboard with their name. It's just an alt account. I faced him yesterday. The account was made like five, four or five days ago. So I'm just using it to try stuff in the new patch. Okay, I don't want to deal with Tortnite. Oshiara man, shame. We'll bring the Mimit, I think the Mimit could be useful this game. I don't think Hedgen's going to be doing much. I was really hoping we could see it do a lot more in that stall match, but he was able to scale defensively way faster than I was offensively. Tough and just be like that. I could have outpaced just Stonewall alone, I believe, but it wasn't really the, the option. Ah, marbles, that might be it. I think my Turok could live double T-strike, or it would be really darn close. Because I've got... I did invest in special defense, and I do have max HP. I think I have to challenge it anyways. But it could be rough. And that marbles might be the difference. I'm going to stoneball the Inky, and then I'm going to swap in Psypat into the Bigu slot to get Nicho Psy off hold, just in case things go wrong. Please live healthily. Okay, that looks that looks pretty good. Nice, worth it. And Nikki can only dream of living that. If the Mimit swaps out now to so to avoid eating the Nicho Psy, it will die. Or it'll it will never be able to be Inky again, so. Is the gravel bag good there for the special damage coverage? Probably. It's just that I nor I typically run gravel bag, so I wanted to switch it up a little bit. Uh, heater token? No. 
That was an interesting swap then. Right beam. I didn't put enough speed in my Turok. Fall here. I'm actually going to swap in Mimit to copy the Turok. Resist Tolkien moves. And it can take a T strike, alright, at least. Oh, a DC beam, okay. That's good. Do you double into the slot or do you split? That's the question. Nice. Mimit value! Alright, I'm gonna bring in Saipat and I'm gonna swap out Mimit and then I'm gonna bring Saipat back in. Yes. What I really want now is two Saipats. I guess I hope I can live a plague, but I think I invested quite a bit of HP, so... And most Volkies aren't even max special attack. Yeah. Oh, he even pushed off his own burn, so that Tolkien is dead. I'm just gonna go after the hedge in here, cause like Big U always wins a 1v1 against Volfi. That's one of the reasons why I would like to invest max speed on Saipat, but I figured I could get away with not doing it here. Please kill. Okay. Oh, good thing Mimit's still alive. Bringing Mimit there to copy my Saipat would have been bad because I would have died to the Wolfy Plague, so. But now I have Sludge Gifts, so it still works. After the Mimits, even if he killed, it would have been fine. Big, like I said, wins the 1v1 against Volfi late game. Big damage. I don't even think this plague kills because there's no invest. We'll see if he forfeits, anyways. Yeah. GG's. I it had so much value that game. In a sex and match. Yeah. 
So I see this person doesn't have any Thames, and they kind of created their account just a couple days ago, but they have a couple tourney wins, so I, and they're completing the battle pass, so I have like no idea what's going on here. It's kind of weird. Do showdown players have access to the shop, or are they maybe just bugged in their team's not showing somehow? It's not something I've seen before. My thought was maybe they had a main account that they've won some tournaments on, and then they deleted the account and made the account new, but only on Showdown. So it's still using the data of their old account on the Steam account. It has all their info. And that would explain the tourney wins. It's just you would have to delete your main account for that, which is really weird. I guess I could check if Dinkelberg made a new account and if that's it, but normally he's got more creative names than that. Yeah, he might have actually. And this is Dinkel. I guess. Yeah, it's probably him then. I think he had three Gs. I don't know why he does that. It's like every every time there's a patch. He likes to go through the whole sticker quest again or something. <laughs> Zero Noxes. Oh no, the Wasp and Galios combo! <laughs> Most of my team's faster than that, so it doesn't matter, but it's still kind of interesting. Ban the Pocus just because I don't want to deal with slowdown. Usually that thing is max speed. I'm going to pick Shween first if I get the chance because it gives me the most flexible lead. If he does something like Size Munch and Shawlant, I can break the evasion with. Schween, and then hit with a Faraday Cage from Pupois. And that would actually make it... Okay, well, so that the stupid thing doesn't have synergy. We're just going to go Pupois first anyways. You can always do something like Psypat... Pupoise or Oshiara Pupoise. Almost his entire team is weak to digital except for the Tort Tort Knight. So much for banning the Tort Knight. We're just going to two pop voices. I'm going to ban the Naga next, just because I don't know if it's Decedar or Water Custodian. I feel like with this team, when you have one, two, three, four Water Weeks, it could very well be Water Custodian. But he's still banning my Waters, so that's also kind of weird. Like... Your team has seven digi weeks, and there's a, a hedging right here. It may be going away gift, but <laughs> it is still has cyber claw. <laughs> yeah, this type of team is just a bit too cheesy for me. 
I prefer my pizza with pepperoni, thank you. Yeah, I just, like, double Faraday cage the right slot and everything dies. Problem is, this Mimit doesn't have the stamina sustain at all that it wants. So it has to sharp leaf. Really? I'm not faster than this Galios. I guess maybe on the Mimit I, I am. On the main pup voice, I'm not. Okay, so that's bad. I did not account for that. And I lost half my health on the limit. That was a big oops from me. I'll have to just bring in the pup voice later. At least he's attacking the limit, so I can swap it out. Hello, Belly. Welcome. No, uh, I've done I've done like two or three Pupoise radars, but I have not gotten a Luma. You know, my radar luck's actually been really awful for the last month, <laughs> month or so. I don't think I, I still haven't gotten a single Luma on screen yet, and not to mention I haven't gotten my Pookie Umber yet. So. All right, that was a pretty good Bigu swap. Tortnite is just actually really bad for my team too. Because the only thing that can kill it is Psypat. And actually, after that clay ball, I don't think I'm faster than this thing's signature. Oh, wait, no, but it doesn't have it because it, it used that instead of transient. I'm actually surprised he attacked the sleeping pup boys. There's the transient. What's the sub goal turn into? Uh, it's I don't know. I was looking up some like what the emote slots are on for affiliates, and it looks like it, it's maxed out after you reach 50 subs. I could be wrong, but that's that's all I found online. So, oh wow, that killed. <laughs> oh, Belly, thank you so much. You've been the biggest contributor towards the, towards the goal. <laughs> About to find out. Yeah, I'm still waiting on the last batch. It, we're, it's There's like th three of the five of them done, so I'll be able to show them to you guys real soon here. I tried Kapire, so you're happy. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, I love Kapire. I just think it needs... It would be great if Kapire got a signature move or something along those lines. I was thinking it would be cool if it got... Like a, oh, I just think that there should be a move in the game where it's like a really hard-hitting fire attack. But it doesn't... Maybe it, it lowers your attack or something. So it's like... <laughs> be flat and thank you for the sub. <laughs> we, got, we got 50 out of 50. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of emotes for you guys coming here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, I was thinking like a 130 hold zero fire attack 
that maybe lowers Kapire's attack after using it once. So it's super strong, but it has a disadvantage. Like, I think that would be super cool. Lord Knight's Garden on the Pupway is very interesting. I have bush, so I can push that off. Once again, more bush value. I think Tornade's ult is one of the better looking ones. Yeah, it is super cool. For sure. I mean, uh, there's a whole. I think anyone's where they have like a full on background stuff like Zyzer's is cool. Naga's, yeah. I mean, they. It's like all of the starters. I mean, oh, also, uh, Cozy Web is such a cool move, too, because you got the whole web, and then you even get the face that's kind of made not appreciated enough. Chief Bosk, thank you for the sub as well. I guess I'm going to... I wonder if it's going to keep popping up with that until I, like, limit is complete. I'll have a limited time to earn exclusive emotes. Oh, that, the hype train. <laughs> I don't know, you guys, I'm, I'm just in shock. You guys are just such, you're just so amazing. I really can't appreciate your support enough. there <laughs> if I bad dies that see spikes here I probably lose If not, I should be able to get this Nicho Sai off on Tortonite. Bring in Mimit to turn into Shalant and then finish off the Tortonite, and maybe we can do something. Tortonite is almost out of stamina too, which is nice. Live. Yes. Outspeed. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> oh. Okay, that doesn't kill, which sucks, but it's progress. Cheer up. Interesting. I don't know what he's cheering up into. But obviously, it's something.
All right, physical mimic, copying a special tome, right back at it. <laughs> Soul shout. All right, there we go. Kind of has to soul shout the side pet or dim mock that works too. And he just soul shouts the the bigu, and then I just lose the one v one, unfortunately. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about that. The determining factor. Even with Pryo, I don't know what speed shell ant. Using normal. And certainly not high Pryo. He needs two dim mocks to kill me. I don't know if a soul shout will do it. I need to at least get one more soul shout so that the next dim mock finishes him off because that one did 27%. Level 1 hype train emote. <laughs> You're all awesome. Thank you so much. He even OXed off of that one. Wow. I didn't even think about the welcomer, but that totally flipped the end game here. <laughs> that was a crazy match. Oh. <laughs> GG's. GG. Ah, that's our two wins in a row too. <laughs> Would have never expected to be able to pull that off with this team. Three and one. I should probably mention that this team really is not as good as I've been performing with it. <laughs> It's really not. <laughs> but it's fun. It's just... It feels like you're playing from a disadvantage the whole game. You get a rematch against... So... We'll see if we can pull out another win against them or if we're kind of... doomed to lose. Mimi, hello, welcome. We'll pick the Turok again, which can kind of scare off the Inky and maybe the Tortonite even. Poise bands kind of sad. I'm 
gonna bring Mimit again. I think turn one I'm gonna try and copy. Actually, do I copy the Inky or do I copy the Oshiara? I think I might actually copy the Oshiara, which kind of sucks. Because I want to swap out Turok. Edrin really ain't doing much. We got to try it out once. Which was at least nice, but... It would definitely be better replaced with something more threatening that I can use flexibly. Yeah, dang, I turned into the Oshiara. Well, I'm just going to bring in the Mimit, just in case he swaps to, like, Volfi or something. Okay, well, he just stayed in. That's fine. Oh wow, Mimit almost lived that. I wonder if that's not a max special attack Inky. I know Oshiara's special defense is respectable though. And it has some good HP invest on the Mimit, but still. Bigger strong, that damage. Yeah, I mean, it's max attack, it's actually 270, and water cutting is still a super strong move, regardless. Oh, this looks familiar, doesn't it? Right beam was obvious. Oh, it's got slingshot, that's funny. <laughs> slingshot really only works with bright beam now, it doesn't do anything for it doesn't do anything for DC beam because it's high prio and slingshot only works on normal prio moves. Uh, Thunderstrike twice is not a kill, because we faced this guy earlier, and I led Turok into him, and it did not kill, so we kind of tested that earlier today. It was like two matches ago. So, so yeah, for both of you, I guess, yeah, two T-Strikes never kills. Uh, I'm never going to have a safe time to bring in either Oshiara or Saipat. Sucks. Rock's too slow. I basically have to hope that... I haven't even got to click Rage on the this, this Saipat yet. That sucks. I have to hope Waterblade... 
Plus, Water Cutting Lily kills this Inky, which is super unlikely. I guess... I guess I could swap to Psypad here. that idea better. I would have been close if I stayed in. Would have been really close. Hydro Horse. Oh, we're just like, come on, the whole team's a meme. <laughs> but yeah, Hydro Horse, indeed. I probably still die to the DC beam now. I needed him not to click Quartz Dirt. One meme though, yeah, that's true. That is true. If I live the DC beam, kill the Inky, I could probably still win. Okay, he didn't DC beam. I would have risked it if I was him for sure. I went for the Bigu with that. I gotta hope Aquastone kills Hedgen. I'll try and click Water Jet just in case. Okay. Do you have like Sandstorm? Weird. Alright. That's one way to lose. Not confirming kills on anything. I think I, I'm pretty sure that Aquastone would have killed anyways, so I was probably alright either way. GG. I think this is like the worst team I've ever been 4 and 1 with. I guess, like, so the thing with having Shreen and Saipat on the same team, well, I got promoted with this team. Uh, I think the the thing with this team is that a priority ban, or forcing a ban of Shreen is so strong. I guess that's my own, that's all I can guess. But I mean, I've also got like a severe toxic weakness and nature weakness. I don't know. Pigu overall. <laughs> Your next set of retro games you're in, pick them up tomorrow. Awesome. Do you actually play them like on a old N64 console? You're basically just collecting them. Cause I've got both the console and the games, and I give the games some love. <laughs> some you play, but lots you collect. Gotcha. Yeah, both are good. Hello, style. Welcome. Thinking be flattened. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Another teamer pass. Cowering emote. Yeah, it's kind of cool they got like 
they'll fence and ghosts and stuff around. It looks persistent too, rather than just kind of going away after a couple seconds. I only got six pookies left in this radar, and none of them are Umbra. Why? Oh well. <laughs> I'm so glad that the pookie radar is the cheapest one. Like, tied for the cheapest, but still. I feel even worse for all the people going for something like Mimit or the 5% and not getting any luck. Can't get your Umbra Shaw Light either. Oh, good luck. Yeah, I... <laughs> At least Sha Shaolite's like 90% spawn too, right? It's pretty good. You can go Final Fantasy 4 and 5, Factory Sealed. Oh, that's awesome. Silent Hill Origins and Bandra Kazooie, Grunchy's Revenge. <laughs> I'm not familiar with Silent Hill Origins, but yeah, Bandit Kazooie Grunty's Revenge, top tier. You've never actually played Grunty's Revenge and you're a huge Bandit fan? Well, how could you? <laughs> it, it's really interesting. It's got a few really cool mechanics in it, but I won't spoil it for you. Okay, it looks like a lot of rematches today, which is a little unfortunate. I do like seeing a variety of teams, but I'm sure these players also want their revenge on me. <laughs> I certainly would. I'm going to try banning the Tort Knight this time. It's a loose copy, so this one you'll play before boxing it up. Good plan, good plan. These songs are always louder than the rest for some reason. Good songs, but... I'm going to try something I haven't tried yet. I'm no longer going to try. <laughs> I forgot to, to give Scythe a toxic move, and I realized that's just a little too late. I did want to bait in the Nagais, because I know I can deal with it. Okay, maybe I can't. I only have, like, Bigu left. I still don't know if it's a Water Custodian or Decidor yet, though. Or speed invested for that matter. It looked nice in your banjo display. Got a near mint banjo tui closed in box the other day. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> yeah, once I get my own place, I'll probably have some displays for stuff too. Right now, I just got a mismatched collection all over the place. Nothing set up fa fancy. I imagine I'll get some more use now, even if it's just clicking Cyberclaw. Because he's got all Digi Weeks. It is the sea door, though. You can double side, I sure can. 
pretty sure I can live a beta burst, and I don't think the Shell Lance is going to be threatening at all. We saw its moveset. It's got Cheer Up, Soul Shell, Kesagatame, and whatever the other move was. Okay, that did quite a bit. Ah, Dimmock. That was it. That was the other move. He's still going for the Soul Shout, though. Haha, oh wait, I know he's got a uh, Psy Surge. I didn't think about that. I'm like, oh, I just see it. You can't use your Pryo against me, but you can use your negative Pryo. <laughs> I'm still not used to Decidor right here yet. Absol, hello, welcome. How's it going? Well, we're 4-1 today with a meme team. I tried something different and now it's not working. But up until now, it's been really great. <laughs> and I deserved this, so I can't blame anyone but myself. working on trying to find a team you want. I wish you the best of luck. Do you have an idea? I can just... Are you... You wanted a fast, like, hyper aggro sort of team, but you're not a fan of digi aggro, right? Yeah, that's a bit tough to find exactly. I mean, you can do general stuff like Tolkien, Hedgen, Oshiara, Platymus. Those are just... Uh, basically have just a, a faster meta team. And the problem is, like, even if you have the f like a team that dishes out as much damage as possible, it's going to be weak in other ways. And most of the time, you can't actually confirm kills, which is super sad. I mean, I. You like inflicting status conditions? Status conditions are even a bit harder to work in. Because normally status conditions are for slower forms of play. I mean, you can you can run stuff like hedging with plasma beam, Tolkien with fiery soul, and even like a throw an Oshiara in there with a high pressure water. As in your flex slot, and then you have a, a burn core. Burn's about the only kind of status condition you'll wanna you'll wanna have. Wait. It's going fine. Is aggro burn a thing? Yes, it is. It's just that typically nowadays... I don't know. I don't know why we don't see it. I would say Funky was one of the main aggro burn players. Uh, but he hasn't... I think he's kind of busy with IRL stuff right now. He's got some of his old videos, though. That kind of gives you an idea. He's got a YouTube. It's like, just search up Funky How. Probably the closest 
thing you're going to find to what you're looking for, and even that's not going to be exact. Just run aggro core, aggro burn for two, two seasons, and you have a mini core of it now. Yeah, a mini core is probably the best way to go, other than full on. size much swapped okay you'd be okay if you could just find a time you really like and have a team based around it yeah it's not always that easy though I mean have you tried it like token hedging are probably the two ones you're mainly looking at if you like inflicting statuses and doing lots of damage I, I would give those a try and just see how they feel Alright. He did that was another GG. You like Anatan? Look, okay. <laughs> so I have some bad news for you. <laughs> Anatan is like in the bottom three slowest Thames in the game. So it is the opposite of a fast aggro Tem. It also has very low attack because it has such high defenses. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be tough. Challenge you with scrim? Sure. If I, I forget if I queued up already, but let me try and cancel quick. <laughs> oh, it didn't queue up. Perfect. Do you want to send or should I? Ah, rip. Oh, it's the last encounter. Says you're busy. Yeah, sorry, I just hopped into the last encounter of the radar. How's Turok? Turok's about average speed, certainly nothing special. It is a strong tem, though. It can kind of work into that burn core with Rockfall stuff. Alright, be flat and good luck, have fun. And the toxic type. Toxics are bad. I guess we got to pick Schween in like one of our games today. Forget which one that was, but it worked. <laughs> Agro Volfi? Yeah, Agro Volfi works. It's super strong too. You kinda I guess you could kinda get a, a status with plague there. Exhaust. It's probably not going to be quite the damage output you're looking for. Because its defensive type is so good, all of its stats are slightly below average. But it's just such a strong tem in general. Yeah, the nest is going to be kind of a problem. Hello, Kip. Welcome. We're running one of the wackiest teams I have in a while, and we're somehow 5-1. and one. And now B. Flatten has challenged me to a scrim. 5-1 and one with Big U Pup Hoist. That is correct. This will be a VOD to go back and watch. <laughs> is your cash good for aggro burn? It, it fits into the cores all right, because normally... Or because it has Hellfire and stuff. But in general, it's it's a little tough. Just because Drakash's defensive typing isn't all that great. But yeah, it, it can work. Yeah. 
Yeah, I ripped my mitt. I get so much use out of that thing. Yeah, he probably isn't going to pick the... Oh, he did pick the Oshiara. I have three amphibian Tims, though, so I'm a little surprised by that. I guess he does want something to deal with my... Like, Hedge and Turok. Right now, you have... Token, Oshiara, Oshiara Volfi, Hedgen, and Drakash. You probably want a couple other things for, like, water resistance. You could even do, like, a water custodian and Geist if you wanted to, but that, not, probably not. That's actually really bad electric weakness. I wouldn't recommend it. I think about what I'm doing turn one here, though. I think I just have to sack something to the Nestle. Boyish. I can't particularly recommend Koish. Alright, going for the side pat. Must be a bulkier Nesla. Is Vitamin comp Complex proc? No. It is not. Badge indeed. I just realized the Nestle was actually faster than me. Ah. How's Aohi? Well, see, the thing is, you don't want to type stack too much. I re never recommend having more than three weaknesses on the, the same team, so you don't want another water weakness on there. Uh, I would personally try to slot, slot Infantier into that team. Covers water weakness and comes with plenty of speed. Yeah, Amphitheor would probably be a good slot there, for sure. And I side a shuriken and had the pup boys hit the gym. I'd get thrown off with like a, a double into the pup boys though. That would hurt. Rocking amphibian on his own. Interesting. Ah, he did double. That is a very. He's, I think his entire team's max speed actually. So that's kind of awful for me. Changed out your cash for that and added Nessa. Gotcha. That should be all right. A lot of stuff you just kind of got to throw together and try. Saipat, so adding another water gives you a really, like a four or five electric weaknesses. Yeah, definitely a squishy or Shimmerian. 
Looks like he tried to front whip. Oh, and he's going to get it off. Couldn't take it out. <laughs> Almost wipes my max HP to rock. I'll see if we can get a single kill. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be the end of me. I mean, honestly, Big was really good into the the back here, but I just, I don't got nothing. <laughs> New flank just comes in and wipes. Well, we'll see if Bigu can just pick up another kill. How much stam for 90 stam on Bigu? It is 115. Bigu still has really good stam because it evolves into Babala, but... Yeah, that's it's a rough invest for sure. Uh, unseen blow. I mean, I don't know if Bigu gets to even wipe Oshiara here. Nope, no, not with a held anger. Oh, a base jump or something I could have taken, but not that. <laughs> yeah, I, I never stood a chance. GG's B. GG. Oh, I forgot your team has, is so fast. I couldn't manage. <laughs> but thank you for helping me prove that the, my team is not actually solid or good in any way. Your team's a lot of fun, though. That's the updated team. Did a few swap arounds. It did look a little different. It looks like a really good team. And it's super punishing with all the, the speed invest. If we saw Naga around more often, it would be great to just see uh, see Naga try and sleep your Chimurian at some point, and then you just smack it with, <laughs> with something. I guess Chimurian just in general kind of counters Naga now. Is Shimmerian fast? Not typically, but it can be. Uh, you returned OCR with high pressure water and Hazra as the MVP. Ah, good thing I banned Hazra. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a big fan of the Toxic Farewell change, but Hazra is still just so good. Having partners in Platymus and Oshiara really helps it out. Just trying to find the last one you need. I know I made a burn team a while ago, so maybe you could find that video on my YouTube and just kind of give that team a try. I think it would be at least a good starting point. You'd have it all TV'd already. Building a team from scratch just isn't real great. And... Especially when you're just starting out and aren't familiar with the playstyle. I think Fast Chim is the only Chim to really play. I mean, losing to, like, actually dying to a Fiery Soul kind of sucks. Max HP Chim lives. So that's an advantage. Plus, it's not like Golzi is super popular. Yeah, that, that team's gonna kinda struggle, Absol. I just. It's just got. It doesn't. It has a lot of damage, and it has some burn. But it doesn't have a lot of defensive swaps. You, ba you have, like, three quad electric resists and one electric immunity. 
<laughs> is overkill, in my opinion. You have so many triple weaknesses, then I just don't think you're able to... I don't think you'd have a lot of success. Oh, I gotta queue up again. Um, probably got an, bought another game or two before my roommate gets back, and then I'll probably end the stream, so... Only one more, actually. Rounded off at eight games is pretty solid for a day, though. How do you use Windcoish? I did a, a video on Windcoish, like, two days ago. But honestly, it, it's one of the worst Coishes. It's just kind of a fun little niche. If you're looking at a Koish variant, I would always recommend Digiquoish right now. It's by far the strongest. But there's also kind of like a super aggressive team with Nature Koish. But it's very well known and easily counterable. And yes, Tem Team is amazing. Thank you, Tylo, for creating that. Always recommend that for team building. I mean, I use Showdown nowadays, but I pretty much have all the information that Temp Team can offer me. Well, not all of it, but... Temp Team is good in combination with Showdown. You can do stuff like damage calcs. The damage calculator on Temp Team is still valuable. Once you get to higher level play. I'm just starting out, it doesn't matter too much. You can always like see players here, like, hello, and then they never respond because there's some they're AFK on the bridge for some reason. <laughs> I think I waved at a player once, and they they were like walking in circles, like trying to respond, but they didn't know how to use the emote wheel because they were still new to the game, and it doesn't really tell you unless you've looked at the like, the controls closely. <laughs> Oh, he's gone now. Time team for resistances and advantages is super helpful. Yes, that is one of the, the top features I use as well. I mean, normally I can look at a team and kind of know the type chart, but that take took too much practice. Being able to visualize it is so much easier. <laughs> Through time team. Saves headaches for sure. Because yeah, I mean, I, I definitely overlook stuff still too. Like with this team today, I did I didn't even pay attention to the. Well, I guess I don't actually have four toxic weeks unless I use Mimit to copy one of my toxic weeks already. And even though I technically have four electric weeks, Mimit doesn't really count because it's always transforming into something else. This team definitely has an awful type chart though, I've just been lucky I haven't run into triple toxic teams. We, got, well, we haven't seen a single Platymus in my seven matches today, that's nuts. Platymus is one of the most common teams in the game right now.
Yeah, it looks like most of the players are kind of heading off for the day. I suppose this is the point where it's getting late and most of the EU players are heading to bed. You swapped out your platy recently. Yeah, if you don't have enough electrics, like if you only have one electric, it's kind of, it's a bit harder to justify plat, but I still think it's really strong. <laughs> You're still in chat. Good luck, Lumari. Okay. So has okay, so here's the triple toxic team I was talking about. <laughs> One of them. <laughs> yes, good luck, have fun to you as well. I have a couple digis. Digis can kinda deal with Mashuk. Bottomless is rough. Might have to ban it. I mean, at least Turok can deal with Hazrat. Found high pressure water horse to have more value team wise, not necessarily individual tem wise. I guess I'm used to people running both, typically. Because Hazrat with two water synergies is super nice. But I guess you run Nessa as your second water. You don't really need three, that's just excessive. <laughs> I, I don't I don't want to deal with Platymus. I mean, I can actually go a double slide pad here and just freeze them as Shook, but the problem is that one of the many things that can hit slide pad super effective can just come in and ruin my day. We're going to try it. Yeah, I guess. Brocklum and Mashuk are like two Thames that completely wall Saipat. Only Shreen's Horn worked? Yeah, it would also significantly help if I remembered for like the third time to swap Water Jet for a Toxic move. I'm assuming it's Camouflage Brock too, so I can't even freeze it. I guess Amphitere, I was hoping I, it, I would live the T-Strike and then just smack it back with two Nichos and that would kill. Or at least get close. Rock I didn't even think about. I was just like, oh, it has type advantage, but not that it completely walls me. Especially with Camouflage. I'm going to definitely need to pick... I think I'm just going to have to leave Bigu here, because I'm going to need both Digis and then I'm probably going to want Oshiara. Max Bomb is still help. Right, right. The, that it's definitely needed a toxic move over water jet. I actually like toxic ink personally just because toxic ticks are so valuable. Party into fluid barrier. For when Shween gets banned. I I could have. I didn't want to have that many water weaknesses or that many waters on the team though. Cause I could have done that instead of Oshiara, but I thought it'd be more fun to freeze. Brockle has some speed to it too. Respect it, for sure. Mushukto does not. So if Rain made a better choice somewhere, I thought about it, but ever since it went to two hold, it's just bleh, bad. So bad. 
And up arm shook. Not what I wanted to see. Is it worth keeping one of my side pads in to hit the pup boys? That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. I would almost argue yes. But I'm just not particularly interested in that. Yeah, so here's the thing, Kip. This is a gag hedging. <laughs> Shall land things? That's fair. Oh, somebody's watching me. Shook swaps out to Obi. Obi does not want to take this Faraday at all. Oh, that's right, I'm like base speed hedging. Push target reps, fun. I love target rep OV. <laughs> Thing has so many fun combos you can do with it. Oh, okay. Normally I don't run binary flood on it though. <laughs> so that hurts. Oh, an inner spirit. Man, I guess I needed more speed on my Thames. Pop boys, no. Okay, I thought it almost lived. It did not. It did not almost live. Yeah, that Brock's just gonna be too much of a pain, I think. Join the stream and the team is in shambles. Yeah, we'll blame you, Kip. <laughs> Can be a team getting humbled. I knew it was bad. I've, I said that the whole time. This is the worst team that I've ever had the best winning streak with. I'll rip my double hook. <laughs> and the thing's got mom's lunch, that's interesting. I wonder what other moves this OB has. If it's just all offensive and no support. Who suggested this? Uh, Maliro. Maliro had redeemed it yesterday. So I mean, like, it worked for the start of the day, which is better than I can ask for. Like tomorrow, I'm <laughs> tomorrow, I've got to do a madness buff with Mooflank team. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Rockfall pain. Special move flank's not super bad though. Yeah, that's true. It's not super bad. It's only partially super bad. This is the evade season. It is. It's news to me. Oh, I guess because of Galios and his signature giving evade. It's probably probably why. Pretty sure the only way I win now is if I mean, technically, if I can copy the Broccolum with my Mimit, that would be stonks. But I don't think that's going to happen. 
With Raikin, can almost get the KO turn one. Eh, rip. Let's so open the Amphitheater would, for some reason, attack the Hedgen or just do something that I could play around. <laughs> uh, Synergy Earthbreaker. Oh, so much fun stuff on this team that I just have no counterplay against. That's great. And now my Mimic comes in to get Gario Blade. Thinkers to change drill every game. Oh, it's in that's right. There's Clay Ball. Well, oh. GG. <laughs> Love the team. Not a good matchup for me today. <laughs> I mean, Drill on a best of three doesn't have nearly as much success. Plus, if they ever fix which gears are supposed to reveal themselves, then it, it's not going to be strong. Yes, GG's Lucas. It's a fun team. I, I do like the team, but facing it today was was not <laughs> was not in my favor. <laughs> it was a good game, though. You're having a lot of fun with the team. Yeah, I've had so much fun with Target Rep in the past. Dimpai, hello, thank you for the raid. Unfortunately, I was just... You know, I'll play one more just for the... Just for the raid party now. <laughs> we're... We're kind of memeing. We got a... Amphibian team. With Bigu and Pupoise. <laughs> and Saipat Shmeen, but... Shmeen gets banned just about every game. We we were five and one for a time, and now we're we're, we're struggling a bit. But like the team had some success. It was it was <laughs> very interesting. It was it was a fun day. Snow Chicken King, hello, welcome. Yeah, too bad, like, Rezo's team isn't in the meta anymore. It'd be fun to run into that with this multi-water team. How's the radar going? Uh, I'm not well. We... I had, like, 30 encounters in my last radar that we finished up with no Umbra. And now we're just starting out this one. This is the last radar I can afford with my current Luma drops, so with any luck... I will get one from this one, because Pookie's really the only Umbra I want. At least at the moment. It would be like interesting to get some of the Umbras for Tam that don't have Lumas of yet, that have good... Or like, uh, high expensive egg moves. Some like Hidati, I was considering, but it's way more expensive than it should be. So we'll see if they fix that in a future patch. I have three OT duplicate Lumas that I don't particularly want to turn into smoothies. <laughs> because they're a lot easier to hotfix if I was to ever like hotfix them and then trade for a perfect Luma or sell them off. But at the same time, it's not like I'm really going to use them and that would still be a big hotfix investment. Thank you, I appreciate the, the luck. <laughs> All right, facing off against Kiskulls with Quad Toxic. Woo! Love to see another Pookie level 100. Yes, Pookie's amazing. We love Pookie here. We we'll get Shween. I guess we go Psypat. And we just do the thing. I 
I mean, a Sting plus Clinch plus Savage Suplex will kill the Saipat, which is unfortunate. It would be great if it, you know, didn't. I'm going to ban the Ninja still just because it's got higher defense and more resist. Pick the Pop Boys just because he's got a couple Digi Weeks there. Uh, I think... I, I don't think Bigu's going to do it this game. Bigu's had some... Time to shine in other games, but this one is not it. So I'm a bit sad Workman wasn't able to show up today. I guess I didn't see him in chat. He would have loved today's stream. <laughs> yeah, marble's reducing my damage or my health even more. Uh... We get to do the thing. We get to click the buttons. Ah, uh, man, me, me, playing this last game was all worth it just because I actually get to, to do this. Because it's, it's literally the ninth game today, and this is the first time I've had the chance to. Torment. I'm well, surprised he didn't sting the side pad. He actually could have still done that even with the fluid barrier. Maybe he was afraid I was like fat burner max speed Schween. I'm just gonna Nietzsche the Akronox now and throw a court shield on the side pad so I take even less damage from stuff. Guardian protects. Oh, you know what? Didn't think about that. I always forget Guardian protects against statuses. I mean, I don't want to facing it, but when I have it, yes, I forget. Sting only poisons. Yeah, it's just Cobweb that would make it do more. Okay, we got Raybot Sight Pat now. Here's go OGR and freeze stuff. I guess I could have just water bladed that. <laughs> okay, it killed. I right, saving stamina. Hydrologist value. <laughs> ah, that did nothing. The damage? Yeah, that's what a plus six side pat does when it gets it. I still survived, though, which is kind of this. Which is kind of surprising. We're just going to swap Psypad out and just kind of buy time. That's really just the goal now. Aha, wardrobe value. <laughs> I guess he predicted me to swap. That's fair. Live the clinch. Sad.
trying to figure out with the attack invest if it was better to hit it with Ice Shuriken or Water Blade, and it's definitely Ice Shuriken still. I want to hit the Volarin though, just because Yowler's running out of stamina. Okay, that did more than I was hoping. <laughs> Not worth it. <laughs> oh, it's fun though, and that's what matters. Yeah, Popoise's defensive stats really are not that great. Beef up in the Elder. Can it went burr? Yeah. <laughs> Burrs and gold, yeah. <laughs> That's even better. I, even, I hope this does enough damage with the Faraday to kill. It should. Like a Hydrologist Sharp Rain is still pretty dang strong, even from a no invest mimic. Because Oshiara's special attack is just that crazy. Nice. I just double in Molgu and then force the 1v1 versus Yowler, Saipat. Ah. Okay, the stupid thing is going to have reactive vial. So this is actually kind of working against me. But I didn't want to hit my pup boys with another attack. I don't even think plus four Faraday cage. This could have been close. Could have been close. Barely killed. He did clinch, so I think he'll OX again. Unless stamina bugged, which you never know. I sure can a Molgu. My, my plan is to Ice Shuriken into Water Jet into Nicho. Because that'll take away one of his turns with Freeze. Since it, it's a revealed comeback or Yowler, so it can't actually. It can be frozen. I took way more damage from that clinch than I was expecting, though. I wonder. He, he may have been able to kill me, though, with a, with a Savage. But GG. Oh, I'm glad we got to end off with a win. I was a bit worried there. But yeah, that's probably going to be it for me today. <laughs> Thank you, Gretting, for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, today was a pretty good day. Hey, Shmeen on went. Yeah, that's, that's why people ban Shmeen all the time. Especially if you can't lead like a strong melee and or nature into it. I think it would have been different if I had attacked that Yowler and given it comebacker boost, but I did not. But yeah, so that's going to be all for me. Let me grab the code real quick. Uh, I don't recommend this team. But <laughs> I, I do not I do not recommend the team. It is ugly. Yeah, it's, <laughs> um, you, it, it's kind of fun to mess around with. Like, 
the the Shween plus Saipat combo is, is actually pretty solid once Shween, Shween's Horn is back and you can run better moves on Saipat. It is actually pretty pretty decent of a combo. At the very least, people are almost forced to ban Shween or have good answers to it. So it's not like that part is bad, but everything else was bad. <laughs> I guess Turok's not bad, and if you run a real Oshiara, it's pretty solid too. It's just I, I tried to meme a bit too hard, and somehow it worked today. But yeah, that's gonna be all for me. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone who subbed, getting my belly for the five five subs, be flattened, and Chief Bosk as well. Did reach the sub goal of fifty, so like I think that's as far as I can like my goal for affiliate goes. So I guess I'm gonna probably switch back to the the follower goal. But really, the next thing would be getting partner. But that's going to be tough with a game from Tem like Temtem that just doesn't have the player base. So that's fine, though. I we you guys have given me so much support. I'm going to continue to do this. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.